Alright, hey guys, Mitch here from the Audio Dabbler YouTube channel, and I just want to take a few minutes and talk about programming your own drums from drum tabs that you find, and just kind of basic, you know, basic drum beats, and so here's some. I'm not affiliated with any of these websites, I just was quick Google search, and these are the ones that I stumbled upon, but, and so I can take, or just take Gadget, and program a basic rock beat, into gadget and then you know that's what it sounds like so, and that would be beat one kick snare kick kick snare kick snare kick kick snare t -t 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 -t. you know very very super basic beat and I think what helps is you know I watched about a thousand videos when I was trying to figure out how to program drums on how to actually play the drums and I think that helped even though I don't play the drums I kind of got a feel for what the drummers do and kind of how they can play it and that helps I think that helps actually you know programming the drums via MIDI and if you had a song or something you kind of like how they how they did the uh, a certain part of the drums you could probably go out and find the drum tabs somewhere and then you could program that one little section and then start manipulating it and making it your own you know throw an offbeat somewhere here or there and still getting the kind of feel change out the samples um if you like the way the rhythm is and things like that uh, it would be similar if you you know as a guitarist you know you like kind of like somebody's blues lick or you know a guitar lick or something and then you go out and you read the tab and you play the lick and you're like oh, i like that but i want to make it my own and then you start you know, adding in a few notes here or there, taking out a note, and then, you, you know, you kind of just morph it into into your own style of that, you know, and it becomes your own, uh, you know, it's your own sound, your own song, or your own little lick. But, you know, you just use that as inspiration. And so I use that mindset whenever I approached drums. So let's go here. So keys to reading drum music. Uh, here's just uh, your crash, close hi hat, open hi hat, ride, the toms. Are the, really, the ones you got to focus on, or <clears throat> when a lot of the ones you focus on would be the the bass snare and closed hat. Open hi hat has a circle around it. Um, and so yeah, I guess that's. I don't really need to go too much in detail, but that's just how basically how to read the notation. To know each what what each note means, and if you don't have a good, I think this guy actually, that was one of them I found, um, had a musical notation mark because some of these will have rests in them. Let me go back here. Yeah, see, like this one right here has a rest in it. Um, so you just kind of need to know what what the mute what the notation is. But once you you know kind of get that and kind of get the feel for that it's pretty easy to you know sit there and program these out so here's beat one like I played earlier um, just a basic and then I don't remember which beat this is let's see so this is beat number four this is what beat number four would look like and so you'd have uh, kick snare kick kick snare on the one and the four and so let's go back let me duplicate one here clear the notes and let's actually let's actually program one in let's let's do something like something a little more complicated like beat eight okay and so you got eighth note drums right there and you got drum you got kick kick snare kick rest kick snare and function we go over the eight notes so you got kick kick snare kick rest kick snare and then I think it had hi hats across the board yep beat eight had hi hats across the board You know, still the you know really basic beat but it's still it's you know it's grooving um, and so that's you know I program the rest the rest kind of gives it a different a little bit of a different feel like an offbeat feel uh, 
or backbeat. I'm not sure all the terminology, but uh, so yeah, I guess that's. I don't know how much. I don't know how much more. If you need me to go more in depth, I can. But I just kind of want to give you know just some some basics. Uh, just kind of how to take what's on the screen and put it on here. And in researching all this stuff, one of the one of the, the YouTube guys, I don't remember uh, which one, would said as you know as you're playing, you know, a drummer's only got two hands and two feet. You know, so you can't actually. You know, you wouldn't be able to program 27 drums, you know, a drummer playing 27 drums at the same time. And so you got to take that into account when you're programming drums. And, you know, you could simply select the keep the kick, <clears throat> keep the kicks, and then select the hi-hat and the snare, you know, and just drag those up. You know, drag those down to maybe that. And then you have a completely different feel, different sound, even, and, you know, if you wanted to, let's do, let's alternate those down like that, and I didn't change the rhythm, the rhythm is still the same, the hi-hats across the board, eighth note hi-hats across the board, and then you have your two um, snare hits on the two and the four, the rhythm did not change at all, I just changed up the where the notes are what notes is hitting and so that would be similar um that would be similar to the drummer taking his hands and playing hi-hat and a snare and just moving it and playing the two toms or floor tom or alternate you know you got you know this hand doing the eighth note so you go one two one 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 two you know do the, i don't know how to play the drum so i don't know if that's how you do it but that's what he explained is you're gonna you could just easily just you know move your hands to two different two different instruments and you get a completely different feel using the same pattern and so it was um you know how you could you know play a whole bunch of different patterns or a whole bunch of different drums with the same basic pattern and you could do that with any of the different patterns um on here you know switch out the samples and uh things like that and it just gives a different feel for the song Okay, and then another th last thing I want to do today uh, is make a blues and how to do the 12 bar blues inside of Gadget. And I was playing around with this earlier, so let's just duplicate that. And then here I'm in 12 8. Uh oh, here. I'm in 12.8, and so to get to 12.8, uh, just go to function, and then click on the 12.8, and you can bring it down to 4.4, 4, or you can go up to 12.8, a lot of blues, 12.8 blues, 12 bar blues, or whatever, and um, so let me clear out, oops clear out these notes and the same basic same basic principle applies you know this is some basic drum notation so you got the kick rest those are some rest in the in the middle kick rest snare kick rest snare and you got the uh, hi-hats on the trip and the lit or the one and the three of each of the beats one two three one two three one two three one two three triple lit triple lit triple lit this is kind of how you can count it so it's on the first and the third and so how that would look is since this since gadget i programmed this particular bar as 12 8 you don't need to go in and hit triplet because it's already in a triplet because there's 12 notes and three sections or yeah four sections of three notes four sections of three notes and so how that would look would be the how, how the hi-hats would look would be every other one. And so treat 1.1 to 1.3 is its own section. 4 to 6 is its own section. 7 to 8 is its own section. And 10 to 12 is its own section. And then you would program the hi-hat or the kick and the snare accordingly. So you got the kind of rhythm going. 
you know, I do have some swing going on in here. You can take, you know, just the swing how you want to, you know, if you want less or more. But I, I have found I never really liked doing the swing. I tried it, but it wasn't until I, you know, was playing around with this just recently. Um, adding the swing to where you're doing triplets or there's a lot of triplets or when there's, uh, you know, you're in a different time signature, 3-4, um, 6 8 12 8 or whatever that's when it really it hit me that that's where the swing really shines and adding the swing to things i i just didn't ever particularly care for whenever i would play around with the swing it just didn't sound right to me on you know kind of a 4 4 4 4 quantized 4 4 timing but this is quantized and it sounds good with the triplet okay and then as far as the ghost notes with, is are concerned, like here playing in, playing these ghost notes in, you know you could do that easily. The snares are in the three in the middle of each of the sections, middle of the hi hat. So I would go there, 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 and there. One thing that always gripes me about Gadget though is the inability to know which line you're what which note you're affecting with this velocity. Like, I don't know. I mean, I know because it's the only one, that's the only one there. But if I didn't know, then I would have to, it'd be a kind of a hunt and peck kind of thing. And so you can you know, bring those down. And now you can kind of get that ghost note. Kind of get that ghost note feel. And the shuffle. So yeah, I don't know if there's anything else really um, to go over. So that's how that would that's how that blues would look. And you know, you can do the same thing with the blues. You can move or these these tabs as well. You can move them to different um, different kits or whatever. And I think it's kind of fun to you know take this kind of basic groove, this blues groove, and then bring it into some like. It's just different it gives a different feel. I mean you And the drums is just and you know in rock and um, you know some songs, you know, the drums just drive just really drive the whole groove of the song in most songs but uh and so i had this playing first i say on this one up here i did uh this is really this is a long a long section but then i just was playing around with the kind of the fill at the end because that's a lot of the 12 bar blues you know you, you'll have four bars you know three that are kind of uh you know three that are the main kind of the groove of the song and then you have boom you have the same kind of little thing at the end so um or you have like a fill at the end of each uh four bar pattern so I don't, I don't know if there's anything else. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment. Um, let me know what you thought of this. Um, if this was helpful, you know, maybe if you, if you, you know, program some drums or whatever, you know, leave me a SoundCloud link. Uh, I'd like to hear, you know, what your stuff, what you guys are doing. Um, and uh, just continue to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will make sure I put a link to all these uh, websites that I had pulled up so that you can kind of get into it. Uh, see there, right there is a little fill at the end of uh, something. Boom, boom, you know. So anyway, talk to you guys later.